I'll start this look by applying Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and putting it all over my face and neck. Then I'll apply Pore Professionals Pore Minimizer to my T-zone. For foundation, I use Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I use a damp beauty blender and blend it all over my face. I then take CoverGirl's Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and apply it to all the areas I want to highlight. After blending, I go in with Benefit's High Beam Liquid Face Highlighter and I add it to a few more of the areas that I want extra highlight. I then go in with the same Beauty Blender and blend as I go. To set the concealer and highlight, I pack on Tarte's Translucent Setting Powder using a dry beauty blender. Then I wipe away the excess powder. For my contour base, I take Maybelline's Camouflage Concealer and apply it underneath my cheekbones and also along my hairline. I use a damp beauty blender and blend as I go along. I take the beige highlight from my favorite Lorac Pro Contour Palette and set my under eyes. To add more color to my cheeks, I take Benefit's Hoola Bronzer and lightly add it to my cheeks and along my hairline. For blush, I use the same NYX Baked Blush, lightly adding it to my cheeks. For highlight, I use the White Shimmer from the Vorac Pro Palette, adding it to the high points of my face. To prime my eyes, I use Revlon's Photo Ready Eye Primer. As you can see, twist top applicators aren't my favorite. Then I take a small concealer brush and blend in the primer.
Then I use a cream eyeshadow base and put it all over my eyelid. Then I go in with a gold shimmery shadow and add it all over my eyelid as well. To add depth to my crease, I blend in this darker shade. I also like to add the darker shade underneath my lower lash line. For liner, I start with Maybelline's Master for Precise Eyeliner Pencil. Then I go back over the liner with Maybelline's Master Gel Liner to clean up the edges. For mascara, I like to use two different kinds. Both are from Benefit Cosmetics. One is to give the lashes volume, and the other is to separate and lengthen. Then I begin to attach the lashes. Then I go in with a black liner pencil and I add it to my waterline and also to the inner corners of my eye. I then add extra highlight to the inner corners of my eye and underneath my eyebrow and also above my eyebrow. Now what to do for lips. I first take ColourPop's Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Vice. So I wasn't really happy with the color, so I went in with a darker ColourPop liquid lipstick and blended the two together. Then I apply lip gloss. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.